All right, period two, once you're in Google Classroom, it's gonna look like this. And of course, then you're gonna go to your classwork tab and you're gonna find this assignment called the nutrients. It's gonna little, look a little different because I'm on the teacher side, not the student side, but we'll get the right idea. So you're gonna go view assignment, view instructions, and you'll, it'll take you to this. This is gonna explain to you what you need to do. And then on yours, right up here, it's gonna have a pre-made template of a slides that you're just gonna click on and that will take you to this. And then in this, you're gonna be here and it has a pre-made template with all the information that you need to put in there. There's a slide for each one of the nutrients and then some additional nutritional label stuff that we'll get to later. You do not have to have this done today. So you just get as much done as you can. So the very front page is who it is. So you'd click right here um, and put your name there and then you'd proceed on. So the first slide is protein. What does your body, why does your body need this nutrient? What food does this nutrient found in? And you're just gonna answer these questions. You're just gonna click right in here, type, click down here, type, and that'll answer the um, question. You're also supposed to have a picture. So in order to put in a picture, you are going to click on insert image, search the web, and protein is found in flesh. It can also be in nuts and beans. So I'm gonna put in um, steak, and I'm gonna search. And then I would grab my picture and I would insert it. And that's really big. So we're gonna make it smaller. And then depending on where your typing is, you might need to put this up in the corner. You can also take your box that you're typing in and you can resize it so it doesn't run into your picture. So if I go like that, then my typing will only be right there. And then you just go ahead and go and work through all those slides. You're gonna search stuff using the internet. And also you can use any information you remember from the video that played at the beginning. I will see you tomorrow.